Hi, Gus. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? You. Pardon? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. I can hear you. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what happened to the others. Like, <laughs> it's been 10 minutes and you're the <laughs> only one entering the room. So I was like, mm? how are you? It is. Um, I'm fine. Thanks. How about you? Fine too. Thank you very much. With a lot of holidays this week, I feel quite happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do Tomorrow you is also a holiday. Yeah. But don't you feel the differences between school days and holidays in this pandemic? Like, I almost not feel the difference because <laughs> every day I spend my time 24 hours at home. <laughs> but during the There's holidays, no for sure you don't have any work to do, right? Yep. Mm, there, that's something different, at least. But still at home. Yeah, but but yeah, but it's a little. <laughs> it's a little. Goose goose, tell me one thing. What is your biggest fear concerning this pandemic? My biggest fear is a um, lot of poverty in yeah. Indonesia. Uh -huh. In relation with this COVID-19? Yeah, a lot of poverty in Indonesia because of economic. Mm -hmm. It's not stable. Okay. But that's in a and global then, scale. Uh, How about you? Personal fear? Yeah. Since the, uh, my personal fear is. Um, what is that? I fear. Uh, to actually, I have no fear uh, for me, mm -hmm. but I fear as uh, I fear for the global scale. Mm. So uh, you don't have any fear that one of your parents would get COVID nineteen or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, that's maybe one of it. My because my parents uh, not work from home every day, three times a week. They have to go to the office. Yeah, I fear every day. Only three times? Because the chance my parents get the COVID is higher than me. But they only go to work three times a week. Yep, three times a week. Oh. My father, but. My mother, uh, four times a week. Oh, so the office also has regulations. Of course. Mm, nice office. Like, not all offices do that. Like, and their employees have to go all days uh, in a week, six days a week, even Saturdays. Okay. Six days. Mm. Including you, Miss. And I stay home, Gus. Like, okay. <laughs> even though I work from Monday to Saturday, it's all done at home. I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm relatively fine with being home. How about you? Have you got bored? Yeah, I got bored because of quarantine for five months. Would you prefer being locked down for another five months yeah. or getting COVID and healing from it? Sorry, miss? Would you prefer being locked down for another five months okay. or getting COVID but healing from it?
healing from COVID lockdown is, for is not as easy as it seems. I know it's like a flu, like the flu, but the situation is okay. physically hurting your body. So which one? You are healing, yeah. but you got COVID or five months of lockdown. Of course. Yeah. Oh no, you're stopping. Of course, what? Sorry, Gus, your connection got lost earlier. Yeah, I'm sorry. My connection. Mm. Perhaps you, uh -uh. you can turn off your video. It's okay. As long as I can still talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, which one do you prefer? Of course, I prefer uh, stuck at home for five months. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? But this one. You're young because your percentage of healing from yeah. COVID is high. Yeah, but since uh, if I got the COVID-19, my family of, especially my parents, is uh, can COVID because the risk is higher than me, mm. even though I'm uh, have a, a high chance of healing, but my parents can get a COVID too. Do you have any grandmas or grandpas left? Do you still have grandmas or grandpas? I didn't have Pardon? Sorry, you're breaking. You don't have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more. Oh, I see. Uh, at least one fear is eliminated because uh people over 60s are the highest risk uh, are at the highest risk of getting covid right yeah mm. so uh we're just going to start the lesson since your friends are not here so you've read the article about kelly yeah what is special about that woman? She can overcome uh, her fear because she has um, Who is that? Fireworks? RTC. Pardon? Sorry? Is that fireworks? Oh, yeah, there's, there's fireworks. Oh, my God. Yeah, the children. Yeah. So I was like, it sounds like somebody shooting. <laughs> okay, so sorry. Go on, continue. She can overcome. Okay. Even though she has uh, her DCC, but she can reach the peak of Half Doom Mountain. Uh, it's a cool story. Do you think it's a, uh, do you think she's not, she wasn't risking her life by climbing the mountain? Yeah, of course, she was risking her life, mm -hmm. but she feel glad after she reached the peak of the mountain and she feels so happy. Would you take the same risk as her? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ah, so. Waalaikumsalam. 
I'm so sorry I'm late. Yeah. <laughs> the connection went out. I'm sorry. Mm, I thought you just woke up, no? You look like no, you still have us going with my father. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So uh I was asking Bagus about Kelly. Have you read the article? Mm -hmm, the one who climbed a mountain. Mm -mm. So uh, I was asking Bagus whether he thinks it's a logical thing to do for a heart disease patient to risk her life and climb a mountain. What do you think? No, it's totally not logical. It's emotional. If she follows her emotion, just like like um what's the word um rewarding herself mm -hmm. bagus has different, different ideas what do you, what do you say bagus i'm i'm curious Gus, could you repeat yeah mm -hmm. i know it's it's uh Risky is a risky thing to do, but for some people, it's like like a personal happiness, you know, because he feels so happy after reach the peak of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So some people maybe feel like that. Then it's not logical. <laughs> it's not logical. <laughs> like for medical yeah, reasons. Yeah, for us, for us, <laughs> it's not logical. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm I'm going to give you two a case. I think people like oh, Arya is here. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Before I give you a case, uh, I'm going to let Arya in so the three of you can <laughs> deal with the case. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, audio is not connected. Arya, can you hear us? Hello. Okay, so I'm giving Hannah and Bogus a case, and you are also included in this case because I'm just starting it. So this is the deal. Okay. You are imagine yourself as um a medical person or a medical um, well, you can, yeah, 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 medical worker. You can be a nurse or either a doctor or something else. And they said that you are going to be awarded with um, something, certification or something, the highest awarding by the president if you go to Afghanistan and Boy. help and oh. help yeah and help the war victims there would you do oh. that no <laughs> why not or if you are willing to do that why yes <laughs> because it takes up so much like emotional toll and I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> Hannah's reason is very personal. <laughs> she, she thinks she cannot handle the, the emotional baggage. Yeah, of, instead of yeah. going crazy there, I'll, I'll just choose to not go. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people went crazy after they came back from Afghanistan. Yeah. Arya and Bagus, how about you two? Would you take the risk to get the highest achievement? Or would you say... No. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> because, because, because I think I'm going to die before I get the award. <laughs> okay. How about you, Arya? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I want to help, but not in that way. Like maybe donating something or I don't know. <laughs> the easiest way by donating the something, way. or yeah. even by. <laughs> but 
by putting a banner on your social media. Pray for yeah, Afghanistan. Or... <laughs> and posting hashtags. <laughs> so apparently nobody here wants to be a volunteer to go to Afghanistan. Oh yeah, Arya, I forgot to ask you. You've read the article about Kelly, right? Kelly, okay, oh yeah, the one that like climb mountain. Mm -mm. Oh, Hannah said yeah. that her action was illogical, totally emotional, because she only yeah. followed her heart. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. What a coincidence, okay. She only followed her heart, literally, okay. Literally. And Bagus said, it was fine, it was logical. Some people need rewards after uh, they achieve something. How about you? What do you think? Yeah, like logical, right? Yeah, logical. Maybe right. uh, before he got sick, maybe like he already had that dream. So uh, she when she did, when she get sick, it like postponed, mm -mm. and yeah, uh, and she struggled to heal. So that they can, they, she can reach the, his, her, her dreams before he gets sick. She gets sick. But if you were her family, would you yeah. hold her back or would you just go ahead, Kelly? No, maybe I will like uh, wait until she get better and like 100% guaranteed she will heal. <laughs> Impossible brew for a heart disease. I mean, it's like a, a different question. So when you ask me if it's logical or illogical, I would say it's illogical. But when you say, if I were her family, would I let to that? I think I would. Uh, okay. So if you were I Kelly, think, I still think that. Uh, I still if think Kelly, that you wouldn't do that. But... but do what you want, I guess. <laughs> It's not my life. Uh, yeah, you you will probably let her, but I don't know, maybe I think there is no family that let her kids or let her uh, I don't know, maybe siblings let her do that after that serious stick. Eh, yeah. I bet no one, like in Indonesia especially, that is like <laughs> Asian parents, they uh, <laughs> so yeah, specific. <laughs> How about you, Gus? As a family member now? Of course not. I'm not letting oh, oh. letting go. Oh. To <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Climb a mountain. You said it was it was okay. Yeah. Logical. Yeah, it was okay. It's logical thing. But as long as she's not related I, to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. You know, because it's, yeah, it's human. It's a natural <laughs> answer. Mm. You, are, you want to lose your family. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I, I also asked Bagus earlier, uh, what was his biggest fear? concerning this COVID-19 and he actually just what was your answer I'll let you repeat it my personal fear or a, for a global skill you don't have any personal fear like you said <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah I don't have personal skill but I fear my family get from COVID-19, especially for my parents. As for the global scale? I fear uh, a lot of poverty in Indonesia because of economic condition. <clears throat> How about you to Arya and Hana? What is your biggest fear concerning COVID-19? Arya, Arya. What do you yeah. think, Arya? Uh, we cannot see your face. Not your face. It's okay, la. No, uh, as long as his okay voice la. is clear. It's okay, lah. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. 
for my personal fear, I think like everybody same with bagus. Uh, their parents uh, is don't want to get caught by the COVID-19. Especially like COVID-19 attacks like the elder, like the older people. Like uh, I, I think 30 and above, I guess. Uh, 60. 60, yeah, right. But I don't know, it can, it can like, the COVID-19 can track uh, some, how do you say it? Uh, anytime, yeah, can strike anytime. For like the global scale, uh, I think we can, we cannot like act, do our activities like the normal, not the new normal, but like going to, like going to concerts before the new normal is like you just having fun and like didn't have, what is pembatas, miss? Limitation. Yeah, we didn't have limitation. You don't have to wear mask or something like that. But after the, this new normal, you don't get like this feeling of like joy and you can even shake hands. Like sh- shake hands is like most the most personal thing. It can get us into personal relationship. Mm. So yeah. So there's always this small fear. Yeah. back there that gives you oh should i mm, that holds you back from doing everything yeah exactly mm. hana how about you um my personal fear first i just don't want to die to die painfully you know like when you have covid it's like old so so what is a side yeah like that okay and second thing, yeah i know And secondly, I don't want to, the, the reason why I don't go out or go with my friends in this new normal, just, I just don't want to get blamed on spreading the COVID, yeah. you know, like making a new cluster to my friends, to some of my relatives. I just don't want to get blamed. Um, and for the global scale, I think it's same with Arya, like the basic human interaction, like what is handshakes or maybe a little hug or something i just think that we as a society is more like distant well <laughs> that's what they meant but um emotionally more distant because we can do physical interaction, interaction. interaction. yeah with people i see yeah. mm. personally though <laughs> I'm not a very tactile person. I don't like to touch people. So <laughs> oh, having, I'm such a <laughs> having this kind yeah, of so limitation like is like trapped in the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's hard. It is. Um, but we need to survive. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gus Gus, please read number one, Gus. Can you read it? A or B, miss? A, A. Yeah, A. Mm-hmm. In paragraph one, Kelly talks about challenge, climbing mountains and being sick and says, of the two, of course, I'd rather the mountain be my physical challenge than physical challenge be my mountain. What does this mean for Kelly? Yeah, what does it mean? She I was know, I know. She was switching between the two, making us confused. No. Yep, Hannah, please. You said you know a uh, climbing mountain, mountain and being sick. Um, she is. Um, she would prefer to have this physical challenge by climbing a mountain, than having a challenge because she is limited by her physics. Did that make sense? <laughs> I get your point, but I'm not sure about Bagus and Arya. What do you think, Arya? Do you get it? Do you want me to explain once more, or just? <laughs> okay, okay. Could you explain once again? Go. Um. Okay. So when she climbed the mountain, it's like um physical challenge. You know, like um she has to um hike or. Of carrying bags, it's like a physical yeah. challenge, like physical challenge 
like in that context. But um, the other one, the uh, physical challenge be my mountain, is like her physical challenge, which is her heart um, ability, ability, condition, be her mountain, which is a challenge to um, live in everyday life. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense? Does Do you want sense? to add something, yeah. Arya and Bagus? <laughs> uh, Bagus, do you want to add something? I think uh, Kelly is uh, prefer overcome her fear, fear. rather fear. than fear. Yeah. rather than her fear is at her wait a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the point <laughs> okay. um, that's I, the think, point. I think you got it although you still have difficulties to explain it in words <laughs> yeah but that's it that's happens fine. all the time yeah so her physical challenge she'd rather something unmovable like a mountain to be her physical challenges instead of having her heart make her unmovable okay she still wants to be an active person even though she has physical challenge so the mountain there is a metaphor for something unmovable that she cannot do anything about okay. uh number two hannah please read it number two a kelly perkins climbed mountains <coughs> before and after her heart transplant. Do you think the reasons for climbing mountains were different before and after her transplant? Why or why not? Choose one person to answer that. Hmm. Um, Arya. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, the reason is different, uh, like uh, before, uh, her heart transplant, maybe he just like doing it for hobbies, you know, and after her heart transplant, maybe like uh, the goal, the, the purpose, uh, the, this, 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 this heart transplant cannot stop me, so I will go and reach just like, because I'm like, my grammar is so, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just like she, she, she picked this hobby as her purpose. Purpose, like you get it, you get it, like Hannah, you get it or no? I get it. It's okay, you can do it. Bagus, bagus, you get it or not, bagus? Yes, I get it, Arya. Okay. <laughs> this is cheating. He he didn't explain it fully. Then you did you get it? Did you okay, get okay. It? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait. I will start from this the the start. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, uh, we will listen. So, you can do it. the reason for climbing was Okay, maybe okay. maybe in my opinion, right? Like, uh, she climbed mountains before the hard plan, the transplant that heart transplant, she was like, uh, consider this climb, this hobby, like as a climb, as climb, climbing mountains, right? And after this heart transplant, she didn't want this, uh, his disease as a uh, like, penghalang, what is penghalang? Challenge. Ah, challenge for his hobbies. So she will make it no matter what. Aduh, ya Allah. It's, <laughs> it's hard. Okay, you know? just make... No, 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 no. I, I think I got the point correctly, and you already mentioned it um, clearly. But I don't know. Maybe Allah. Bagus wants to okay, add something. Great. Yeah, Bagus. Okay. Help me, Bagus. <laughs> I think the, the difference is before before her heart transplant is 
because it was her hobby. And after her heart transplant, it because she want to change the image for her friend and her family, like to prove I'm not I'm not I'm not sick like that. Okay. Nice. Well, what about you, Hannah? Can you like give us the conclusion, like the oh. better <laughs> reason between of us? <laughs> this is not the discussion. No. Hey, go, <laughs> Hannah. Oh no! Why are you like this, Arya? <laughs> yeah, it's just like um Arya and Baku said. It's two. Before it was um only hobbies. But after it was going to be more like um, a way to prove herself that she is capable of doing that despite her physical challenges, disabilities. I said disabilities. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's more become. It's more likely to become a reward than only just doing it for hobby. Speaking of a reward, uh, Miss Fifi wants me to share you this. Okay, so Arya was the best wow. for term what? one. Term one. Huh? Achievement. Was Let's... The okay, best okay. for term two. Ah, I cannot see Arya's face. I want to see her, his expression. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> after this class, I'm going to send them to you, the digital certificates. Like, okay. we must print it or no? It's up to you though. I I rarely print my certificate. Oh, okay. here. Yeah. For example. Just for showing off, right? I can put it in my portfolio. Uh, you can put it in your portfolio. So when you go to college later, you can tell uh, oh, people. See? You can tell people that I have this certificate, this certificate, and this certificate. Maybe it will add something to your, I don't know, your point or something. Because uh -huh. nowadays, uh -huh. you get to college without. Uh, it's not only a test, right? Sometimes you can go with the, the achievement way. Maybe that will. And also money. Oh, money. <laughs> money has been one of the ways since time began. So. It has always been. Um, okay, what else do I want to, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot this one. Oh, where is it? I'm going to ask you later to do this one. But first of all, how do you actually say this one? Mountains. Yeah. Mountains. Bye. Mm. Mountain. Okay, so mountain. Mountain. Yeah, you can also uh, swallow the un instead. So you can say mountain. But mountain is so Indonesian. You can either say mountain or mountain. Mountain is very American, yeah. I climb a mountain, okay. and then this one. Hannah made this one. Right? Keep it, keep it, keep it. Uh, you stress the first syllable. Stress the syllable. Capable. 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 Okay. So instead of capable, capable, or capable. Capable. Okay. Capable. Yeah. I had difficulties. I, I had to admit. I had difficulties last two weeks ago. Okay. How do you say this one? Chile. There Chile. You go. But, yeah, one of my learners actually said this. I don't like chilies. Chile. <laughs> I was like, what? I heard chili. 
Chiller. Yeah, Chiller. Chiller. He is the stress. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if you have paid attention to Google Dictionary. It's very useful. If you take a look at the, the word under, this is the pronunciation. And then the there's a, word. you see that one? Uh, playing a piano. Did you see the apostrophe there? Yeah. Apostrophe oh, is uh -huh. the, uh -huh, the coma up there. That's where uh -huh. you need to stress the word. So if you. Hippopotamus. Ah. How do you say hippopotamus? Okay, I'm going to hippopotamus. Check out the stress. Where is hippopotamus? The coma here. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. So there's a coma here. It means that this is the second stress. The, f the stronger stress is here. So how do you actually say this? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. <laughs> but this Give it a try. Hippopotamus. <laughs> Hippopotamus. No. Hippopotamus. 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 Oh, there you go. Hippopotamus. Well, Let's learn it together. Hippopotamus. 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 I feel like I'm in Harry Potter, like learning a spell. Hippopotamus. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. So, uh, use gadgets, use them to your advantage. Hope you have the gadgets always in your hand. So, you can use Google Translate, Google Dictionary, Google uh, Pronunciation. It doesn't have to be paid applications. Okay? This is all free. You just have to, you just have to know how to use it. Okay. Mm. Speaking of which, we already talked about our fears concerning COVID-19. How about your fear about your future? <laughs> you, are, you are all in the 12th grade. I know. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, if it's in like two, three, five years in the future, I think I still got a hold of it. But if you're going to talk about 20 or 11 years. Oh, no, 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 no. Future, I'm going to talk about near future, three years oh, from well, now. I can answer that. <laughs> three years from now, what will be your biggest fear? For still money. I don't know. Or for a living, maybe um, I will need to not cost. What is cost in Bahasa English? Bahasa English. And the room. Not cost. Yeah. The room. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I do don't you, know. Where do if, you plan to go to college? Um, well, um, I still want to go to Surabaya in Uner. But I know, but. No one knows what's going to happen. If I were going to go outside the city, I would still need to go to Kos. Yeah. Or maybe if I were to enroll, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, in UNER, I still afraid of <laughs> what is those <said>? Professor. Lecturers. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of teachers. <laughs> I'm afraid of the teachers. Lecturers. Lecturers, eh? yeah. yeah, lecturers. Mm. Yeah, I'm afraid of them. 
Okay, so Hannah's biggest fear would be, will be money still. <laughs> Bagus, your Bill. biggest fear, three years from now. I think my biggest fear is if I cannot enter the college that I want, if I fail the test. I think that's my biggest fear, so that's why I have to prepare from now. And struggle. Where do you want to go anyway? Stan. Stan. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're going to do it. I mean, I mean, it means that you are going. Stan. Is there Stan in Surabaya? No. Yeah. Sorry? Is there Stan in Surabaya? No, oh, right? No. Oh. It's in Jakarta, yeah. yeah. It means that you will leave your home to go there. Mm. Yep, of course. <laughs> Arya, your biggest fear? Three years from now. Biggest fear? Mm, I know it's hard, but I'm afraid that uh, my vision and my dreams won't go as I plan it would to be. Like, yeah, just like Bagus, going to the your university that you want and eventually will fail. We don't know, just like, we just like, we only go for it. And only time can tell us the answer, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my God, no. We just, we just can, well, we just, just pray and hope the best for our future, so. Yeah. One more thing that you can do. What? One more thing that you can do, so you won't have any fear. Prepare thing, a backup uh, plan. Yeah, backup plan, but yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, sometimes I just want, I just didn't want to talk about it because, like, it's hard, you know. <laughs> I know. But still, like, if you don't face your fear, ah, just like yeah, Kelly. Exactly. If you don't face your fear, the fear will eat you eventually, so yeah. might as well talk about it. Eventually, we must talk about it. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go, Arya? Uh, I actually want to, like, uh, go to college outside in Surabaya so that I will, like, how do you say, Mandiri? Mm -hmm. independent. Mm -hmm. independent. Yeah, independent to have, like, the feeling of uh, like living work. alone. So, I... so yeah, <laughs> so you will respect money more, mm -hmm. right? I... Like if you go living with parents, it's like, mom, I want this, dad, I want this. Like, just like, yes, this, 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 pop, 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 pop. Right? You will get every, every, everything that you want. But if you like work and do this, that kind of thing, you, you have this taste of and will respect more. So where where do you aim to go? Jogja, Jakarta, Jogja, yeah, Bandung, Malang. Malang. Oh, yeah. by the way, Malang is the best option. <laughs> like, you yeah. can be yeah. independent, yeah. but when you don't have any money, you can just go back. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Backup plan. There's always be a backup plan. That's, yeah, that's the backup plan. Going back when everything is wrong. <laughs> yeah. If you run out of money, you just like go with motorcycle. Go with motorcycle. Put... <laughs> no. <laughs> mean. Okay, there. So, I, I suppose it's general that most 12th graders' biggest fear is about their college future. So, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Although, you don't like talking about it, but yeah, it must be <laughs> done. Uh... I need you to take a screenshot or take a picture of your task. Okay. So your task is B. Okay. okay. Have you taken a screenshot or a picture? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, as for you, uh, what is the most 
extreme sports that you would do? I would do. Hmm. Bungee jumping, hmm. maybe. Bungee jumping, it's all right. I I actually love bungee jumping. Have you tried it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, well, in my dreams, I don't know, but <laughs> I think mm -hmm. I would love to because the safety is like very safe. Safety is like very safe, you know. Unlike like ski, ski is dependent with yeah. jumping is like yeah, you you got the harness, you got the people that will catch you. They say that football <laughs> is a safe game, but some people die mm. playing football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just a little. So this What's the most extreme sports that you would do? I I think it's surfing mm -hmm. because I cannot swim. Since I cannot swim, I can I cannot imagine if I Yeah, uh, I know. I also cannot swim. <laughs> I fear the water. <laughs> you do need to learn how to swim. Like mm. <laughs> at least, at least to overcome that fear of drowning. Mm. Of drowning. Yeah. Um. I I will get the clip, but I'm going to go to Arya. Arya, what's your biggest fear? Huh? Uh, sorry. Biggest fear? sorry, sorry, sorry. What's the most extreme sports that you would do? Uh. um Maybe free falling. Because I've done like paralayang before, what and I went like, Malang? yeah, hmm. and I want to the like test the more extreme. But I don't know have I I don't know if I have a guts to test it actually. <laughs> okay, so uh, free falling, man. Oh, I forgot the, remember a bit, uh, I forgot. If you have watched The Life of Pi. Mm -hmm. The tiger oh, yeah, one. Okay. Yeah. The uncle who taught Pi how to swim actually said the, the best word concerning water. Remember, a gulp of water won't kill you, but panic will. So sometimes uh, you, when you're drowning, you get gulps of water and you feel, oh, I'm going to I'm going to But actually, it's not that that will kill you. The, the fear, the panic itself that will kill you. Okay. So uh, learn how to swim, yo, at least to overcome that fear <laughs> of drowning. My bro, Bakus. Oh. <laughs> you too, Hana. You said you cannot swim. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to end this session here. Do you have any questions? Oh, the mm -hmm. screenshot, uh, the task, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did we do it on WhatsApp or? Yeah, yeah. Just do it on WhatsApp. Like the text, like the last... previous one. Mm -mm. Okay. Because if you do it on. Um, Google Classroom. I don't think anybody reads it but me. Have you done any editing to your friends, by the way? Any com I think only Indra commented on uh, other people's work. Bagus, Arya, Hana, please make some comments. Help your out. Help your friends out. Okay. okay. I will leave. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the discussion tonight. Um, please do your responses for those questions. Remember, only one, Hannah. You don't need to answer both. Only one. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Thank you.